Hello, today I am going to talk about this book, Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. So, as you'd probably know, this is a diary written by a Jewish young girl called Anne Frank. In this diary, she wrote about her life in the secret annex, which is the place where she and her family were hiding with some other Jewish people to escape Nazi persecution during the Second World War. This is a phenomenal book for me. Honestly, I could go on forever on this book, but because I don't want to make this video way too long, today I'm just going to talk about three points. First of all, I'm going to talk about writing. Writing is important in this book. This book told me how writing can be liberating, just like drawing, which is something I enjoy. Writing can be an outlet for, I don't know, your feelings, your emotions, I mean something inside you, whatever it may be. It also told me that writing functions as a means to restore memories in the form of words. That's exactly what this book is doing because, you know, she lives on in our memory in this book. Moving on to the second point, I don't know how to call this point. I just thought in this book there is something that brings you so strong feelings and vivid images. Before I read this book, I had learned a little bit about the Holocaust, like in history class. I also saw some documentaries and films, and also read some other books. Although those experiences did scare me, to be completely honest, the Holocaust remained a mere historical fact. At that time, it felt like kind of that event was something that had happened ages ago in some place far away from where I lived. I mean, it was just beyond my imagination because it was so devastating. And this book was different. At the end of this book, there is a section, an afterwards section. It's just like your history textbook. It's a brief explanation what happened to to Anne and other people. After reading her diary, this section didn't seem to be just historical facts any longer. Every time I read the sentence, it really hurt my feelings. I wondered why, and I thought, it would be because the reading experience was like spending those years with Anne, although it took me only 10 days to finish this book actually. What I was doing was like kind of identifying myself with her. This leads to the final point which is about literature. Okay, the word literature itself is not easy to define but here what I mean by literature is books that have some kind of storytelling elements rather than simply or efficiently mentioning facts. And literature helps me so much to understand others. For example, I knew that, say, racial discrimination is evil, but actually understanding it was quite different. Well, it was easy for me to assume that I did because I was surrounded by people who were telling me that it is evil. Personally, I find it difficult to put myself in someone else's shoes, especially when that person has a completely different background. For me, in order to understand someone else's difficulties, it is very important to get emotionally attached, which I think is where literature is good at. Well, take this diary as an example. Um, there are the detailed explanation of the secret annex, her aspiration for writing, her relationship with Peter, some other conversations that happened in the secret annex and those who try to protect them. I mean, it's just full of information that isn't necessarily in your history textbook. That really helped me imagine the situation step by step. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about. I don't know if my review makes sense but I'd be glad if you leave me a comment about whatever you want to say. But especially about the Holocaust or Anne Frank. Any book or 
film recommendations on that topic. So, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.